Welcome to the Peripheral Access Point tutorial. In this session, we'll explore how map creators can make the most of the new peripheral access points. With this update, creators now have the flexibility to choose the size of their access points and can place them on horizontal surfaces. One of the key updates is the enhanced scan distance. Larger access points can be scanned by visitors from distances up to 6 meters away, making them ideal for integrating into your space efficiently. Additionally, these larger access points support scanning in motion, allowing visitors to engage with them on the go. This means an uninterrupted, smooth experience for users navigating through the space. Let's dive into the setup. From the Creator Portal, head to the Map Details page, where you can download the primary QR code and additional secondary QR codes to incorporate into your map. When deciding on the size for printing or displaying the access point, creators can choose from standard, US printer paper sizes, or any custom size in between. The QR code size can range from a maximum of 39.4 by 39.4 inches to a minimum of 7 by 7 inches. Choosing a larger QR code size is encouraged for improved recognition when localizing visitors within the space. Choosing the right size for your QR codes is important for maximizing their effectiveness in different environments. For expansive spaces such as entrances, exits, halls, and foyers, the A0 size is ideal, accommodating high foot traffic and ensuring visibility from afar. Medium-sized areas, like near stairs, elevators, and escalators, benefit from the A2 size, balancing visibility and space utilization efficiently. For smaller settings such as rooms, corridors, and desk spaces, the A4 or letter size is recommended, ensuring accessibility without overwhelming the space. At the map location, creators can place either the printed or digital QR codes on either upright vertical surfaces or flat horizontal surfaces. When editing the map using the ARWay app, creators can add new access points by tapping the blue plus icon, selecting Map Utilities, tapping the QR Code Access Points button, then scroll down and tap the Scan and Anchor button. Then, they can enter the surface direction, display type, and input the dimensions of your displayed QR code. Users will then be prompted to scan and anchor the access point. After scanning, the creator can enter the name and description. Finally, they can scan again to activate the access point. The same process applies to image access points. Choose a flat 2D image in the space with a square ratio to serve as the IAP on either a vertical or horizontal surface. The size of the IAP can range from a maximum of 39.4 by 39.4 inches to a minimum of 7 by 7 inches. Make sure to record the dimensions of your IAP before setup. Enter the surface and dimension details of the displayed IAP, scan the IAP and crop the image as close to the edges as possible. Then the name and description can be added, and the IAP can be activated. With these peripheral access points, creators enjoy more freedom in QR code customization, leading to improved accuracy when scanning from various angles.